So as you likely know, the skies turn dark quickly everywhere. Here's how things look right now along Route 50. This is in the eastern shore where they're still seeing the rain and some wind. Our Brad Bell is live in Waldorf tonight. So Brad, how are things looking there? Well, Allison, we spent the afternoon essentially storm chasing and when a big cell developed in Virginia and was moving across the Potomac River, we raced down here to Southern Maryland to take a look and what you can see in the sky in the distance, that dark gray cloud. Well, that's the tail end of the cell that moved across this area. We have some amazing video that was taken by News Chopper 7 that we want to show you of this storm cell as it came across the Potomac River. You can see the dark ominous clouds and if you look very closely, you'll see a funnel, a funnel cloud trying to form as this storm raced eastward at about 50 miles an hour. It brought heavy wind. It brought hail across southern Maryland, the southern end of Charles County into St. Mary's and uh, Calvert counties as well. We have some in video of the storm over the Patuxent River where it was trying to form water spouts. The crew of News Chopper 7 very alertly saw that the weather was trying to form that that over water tornado that we call a water spout. It started to pick up, but it didn't really uh, didn't really get enough energy and it didn't really fully form. Now, this was the second batch of weather that came across the area earlier today. A much milder uh, storm line came through in Annapolis. A tree fell on the Annapolis City Police Department headquarters that also crushed an SUV belonging to an officer. And I think that probably speaks to that saturated ground issue that we talk about. The ground is very soft, very wet, and trees that are thinking about falling and they're leaning, they don't have such a good grip with their roots on the soil. But back down here in Southern Maryland, as we've been talking about, the storms left as quickly as they arrived. We tried to catch up with it, but moving 50 miles an hour west to east, it was very difficult. That's probably the blessing. When the rain stopped, there was still enough uh, temperature in the air that the roads dried up very, very quickly. We have not seen too many trees down in this area, but we understand uh, further south and further east in St. Mary's County, there are a number of trees down. So that's the situation out here. Back to you, Allison. Okay, Brad, thank you very much for that. All right.